Hey there, second grade. We are going to be starting today on page 425. So would you please go ahead, open up your math book to page 425. Now, once we get there, we are going to be starting lesson three today. So we're in chapter seven, lesson three. And today we are going to be mentally subtracting 10 or 100. Now, if you remember in the last lesson, we were looking at when we were just subtracting hundreds place values. And whenever we did that, we didn't even have to worry about the ones or the tens place because we already had zeros in both of those place values. But today we're going to be talking about how we can make sure when we are subtracting just 10 or just 100 that we don't even need to write things down because we should be able to do that simple math in our head. So let's go ahead and take a look at a quick math problem. So if I had 135 students are on the playground, all right, and 100 students go inside, that means we're taking away 100 students. How many students are left on the playground? Well, in this problem, I can see that the only place value that's going to change is my hundreds place value. So what that means is that my ones place and my tens place are going to come over and be the exact same. Now I can just worry about this. So one minus one is, well, it's zero. So that means there are 35 students left on the playground. And that's what our focus is going to be on today. Looking at which place values will stay the same because of the zeros and just focusing on the easy ones we can do in our head. So let's go ahead and turn over to page 426. 426 looks like this. And if you haven't found this spot just yet, I'm going to ask you to pause right here. And the reason I'm going to ask you to pause is because I want you to be following along with me. So if you have not found this page, pause the video. Otherwise, you should have your pencil ready to go. I'm using a pen just because it shows up a little bit easier for me. But I want you to make sure you've got a pencil. And the reason we use a pencil is sometimes we make mistakes. And mistakes are okay as long as we fix them. So you're going to need to flip it around and erase any mistakes that come up. But let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom in here. And let's go ahead and start checking out our guided practice for today. It says to subtract 100 or 10, think of facts you know. Mentally subtract 100. So here, our helpful hint is reminding us that when we've got zeros in both our ones and our tens place value, those two numbers are going to stay the exact same. The only number that should change in this problem is going to be my hundreds, which is 4 minus 1. Well, we can all figure that out, right? We can just figure out 4 minus 1. So if I have 4 and take it away, well, I'm left with a 3. And we already said that these other two numbers are not going to change because they're zeros. So that means that when I do that, I've got 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. 4 minus 1, we already said, was 3. So my answer is 322. Okay, so when we do these problems, we look for which place value is going to change. Let's take a look at this one. It says mentally subtract 10. Well, this one is not in the hundreds place, is it? But I do have some zeros here. So that means that that place value is going to stay the same. It means I only am going to change my tens place value. So my hundreds place value is going to stay the same. So my ones place value will stay a zero. My hundreds place value will come down because that's going to stay the same. And now I just need to figure out the one that changes. Well, six minus one is five. So that means my answer here will be 450. All we're doing is looking for which place value changes and then making that subtraction and then everything else from our beginning is going to stay the same. Well, let's go ahead and try this out with these first three problems. I'm going to ask you to use that strategy to try out numbers one, two, and three. All right, I want you to try those three problems right now on your own, and then we'll go over them together. So would you pause the video and try out numbers one, number two, and number three? Go ahead and do that now. If you have not paused your video, I'm going to ask you to pause it right now because we're going to go over numbers one, two, and three, and I want you to see if you can use this skill that we just practiced. So for number one, which is my place value that's going to change? Well, I see it right here. It's my hundreds place. If my hundreds place is going to change and the others are zeros, I can just bring down my nine and my two because those aren't going to change. 
3 minus 1, well, I can do that in my head. 3 take away 1 is going to be 2. So my answer is 229. For number 2, I'm going to say which place value is going to change. Well, that's easy enough because I've got it right here, 2 and 1. That means that my original number, the z ones place, will stay a 0. My hundreds place will stay the same. And now I can just do 2 minus 1. Well, 2 minus 1 is 1. So my answer is 810. For number 3, I'm going to look and go, what place value is going to change? What's well, my hundreds place? Which means that my first two place values are just going to come straight down right where they were. 3 minus 1. Well, if I have 3 and take 1 away, I've got 2. So my answer is 263. Will you try numbers 4, 5, and 6 on your own now? Go ahead and pause the video and do 4, 5, and 6. All right, I hope that you paused the video and did numbers four, five, and six. If not, pause right now, because I'm gonna go over these three problems. So for number four, for number four, I'm gonna look and say, which place value is gonna change? Well, it's gonna be my tens place value, which means that my hundreds and ones place are gonna stay the same. Now I can do seven minus one. Well, seven minus one is six. So my answer is 668. Take a look at number five. Which place value is going to change? It's my tens place, which means that my ones place and my hundreds place can both stay the same. Once I've done that, now I can do that tens place. Two minus one. Well, if I have two and take one away, I'm left with one. So my answer is 714. All right, for number six, it looks like the place value is going to change is my tens place again, isn't it? which means that my ones place and my hundreds place will stay the same. Six take away one is going to be five. So I have 154. Now on our next two problems, they've changed it to horizontal. They're not stacked on top of each other. And we don't even need to rewrite it because we can do the same exact steps that we did before. So would you go ahead and try that out right now? I don't want you to restack them. I want to see if you can do it mentally in your head. Pause the video and work on number seven and number eight. All right, I hope that you paused the video and did number seven and number eight. Let's go ahead and take a look. Well, as I look here, I've got zeros in my ones and my tens and zeros in my ones and tens. So I can bring those right over and then just focus on what's nine minus one. 9 minus 1 is 8. So my answer is 800. For number 8, I take a look and go, ooh, I've only got one zero, and it's in my ones place. Well, that means that I'm going to keep my ones place from the original problem. I'm going to keep my hundreds place because my tens place is what's going to change. Now I can say 4 minus 1. What is 4 minus 1? Well, it is 3. So my answer is 733. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the next page because this is what you're going to be working on is going to be on page 427, all right? Page 427. And I want you to try solving these the exact same way. Using your mental math on page 427 for numbers 9 all the way to 23, see if you can solve it the same way. If you get confused, you can go back and rewatch the video or you can take a look over on page 426. Look at the steps that we used to solve these problems, and that will help you to solve the problems on your own in your independent practice over here. All right, well, that's all that we've got for today. I hope you have a great rest of the day. We will see you next time.